Someone who's inspired me is Betsy Cohen. Betsy Cohen is a pioneer in the banking space. She was a, a founder and president and CEO of the Bank Corp probably 30 years ago. And uh, she really was a trailblazer in the FinTech space. She was the first woman to be in any position like that. And it's just been, you know, such an inspiration to have her invested in our company and have her support. I think the, the journey of life is getting to know yourself, your mind, your body, your energy, your emotions, and how you can just learn more about you. And the person that has taught me more about myself from a physical and mental perspective is Dr. Nafisa Parpia, who um, is you know, one of the leading experts in women's longevity. So just really understanding who you are um, from a physical perspective and how you can be in tune with your body from a physical and mental perspective so you can perform at your very best. A woman who has paved the way not only for me but a lot of other women in Silicon Valley has been Edith Harbaugh. She is the founder and I think she's a board member now of Launch Darkly, which is a developer platform. Um, she is just uh, a force of nature and really um, was one of the first to really, you know, get, go through all the venture capital cycles, go through the media that we had to go through or we do have to go through as, um, as women in our roles. Edith has been a fantastic friend that is super inspiring. I do tell her this. It's it's not um, it's not every day that you get to meet your hero, um, but it's also even more special when um, one of your heroes is your friend. A woman who has been my ally since I've come to Silicon Valley is Stephanie Palmieri. She moved to San Francisco the same year I did. And um, while I'm a tech entrepreneur, she's a venture capitalist. And um, it's always just been such a great supportive relationship because even though um, we're in different roles in tech, they're, they're complementary, and we actually you know, go through some of the similar challenges or so similar celebrations. And we've always just been there to support one another in each other's journey. Tell me about a woman who has challenged me. Oh, so many, but it's all like, I guess within the family, you know, it could be my mother. Yeah, my mother has high expectations uh, of me and always has in the past, but also somebody who challenges me daily are my daughters. So <laughs> being able to teach them uh, the tools that they need to be successful in life is super important for me and how you define success it's different for everybody you know for me like how i would define their success is if they're happy a woman who has always believed in me from you know probably the second that i've met her uh, many years ago when uh, she first invested in our company stronghold was uh, vanessa pastrito early investor very savvy about the blockchain space and financial services space uh, has probably a brain like no other. And it was really just nice having her um, be able to see herself in me. You don't come across uh, particularly two women that have um, technical minds in the same space. In that case, it would be like payments and blockchain. So it was really nice to be able to get her, you know, vote of confidence and she really believed in me but basically at the first i don't know 10 minutes within our conversation she was just all in vanessa's been there for me every step of the way a person who has always led by example is christina tsai who is one of the founding partners of 500 global which is a venture capital firm here in silicon valley i worked there many moons ago and uh, she just she was just always so gracious and kind and always seemed uh, put together, even though, you know, she would tell us uh, she had two young children at the time as well and married. Um, so she had a lot to juggle. And I always admired her ability to run 
a global venture capital firm at the same time. It was having like balancing her family life, and so she's just been, um, you know, a great person to to have, you know, that balance of of family and work as she did by leading by example. Somebody that has celebrated me is. Barbara, uh, Barbara Bello. She has been a longtime friend of mine. Actually, is the person that introduced me into kiteboarding, as well as the person who convinced me to move to Silicon Valley. And uh, she has been uh, a big part of some of the things that I do in life, and has always been there for, as a close friend to me. And Barbara and I celebrated our failures just as much as we celebrated our success. Someone who has revolutionized my thinking is Anya DeFranco. Early in my college years, she was really a pioneer in the music space and intellectual property. And she was a person who created her own record label and got distributions without having the backing of uh, you know, the traditional means of distribution uh, through the entertainment industry. And I do believe that a lot of artists today um, like Taylor Swift, um, like other folks who do their own music publishing, were inspired by the way that she was able to do that. Someone that's included me in many activities is Zochi Birch. She is one of the most inclusive people that I know in the Bay Area. She fosters many communities and is always there to listen always there asking question and genuinely wants to learn more about you and how she can uh, add to your life. It's been really an honor to make this video because I have now seen how many women have touched my life and they have been inclusive to me and I hope that some of these stories will enable more women in the future to be more inclusive of others.